Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys something which is speciality of this channel that how you can root Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and this method is applicable to all variants of Redmi Note 4 let it be 2GB, 3GB or 4GB RAM variant with Snapdragon 625 processor so without further delay, let's get started so first of all, you will need to have an unlocked bootloader on your device and if you do not have that, then I'll give the tutorial link in the description box below or in the i button over here. Just watch that video and you can unlock the bootloader of your device. Let me give you a few tips over here so that your bootloader unlocking process will become more easy. First of all, go into settings, then go into about phone, then tap on MIUI version 7 times until and unless it says no need, you are already a developer. Then go back, then go into additional settings, then go into developer options, and make sure that OEM unlocking is enabled over here. If you do not enable this, bootloader unlocking will not be possible. So make sure that you do this. Second important step is to make sure that you have signed into your MIUI account on your device because if you do not do that, then it is not going to work. Plus make sure that the account on which you got the permission to unlock the bootloader is same as that of which is present on the device. Once you unlock your bootloader, you can follow the rest of the video. So now we need to flash the TWRP recovery and to boot into fastboot mode, power off your device completely. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together so that the device will boot into fastboot mode. Once you see the fastboot logo over here, connect one end of the micro USB cable to your device and another end into your PC or laptop. Now open up the ADB folder which is linked in the description box below and all the things which I'm going to use in this video will be linked in the description box below so do not worry about that. Copy the recovery file which is linked in the description box below into the ADB folder too. You have to make sure that you copy that into the ADB folder otherwise this method may not work. Once you open up the ADB folder, hold shift button on your keyboard and right click on any of the empty space on that folder. It's simple, just hold shift button and press right click at the same time. You will see something as open command window over here. Just click on that. Now write a command which is known as fastboot devices and your device should be shown over here like it is showing for me. Now we need to flash the recovery. For that we have a command which is known as fastboot flash recovery space recovery name dot img and for this recovery name we are going to copy the image files recovery name like as you can see I am doing copy and then paste it over here and write dot img after that. I'll give the commands in the description box below too. After you do that just hit on enter recovery will be flashed. Now the TWRP recovery is flashed and we need to boot into the TWRP recovery. And to do that, hold volume up button and power button together for a few seconds and the device should boot into TWRP recovery. Now as you can see, the device has booted into TWRP recovery and if you see something like this, then just select swipe to allow modifications. Now we need to flash the super SU zip file. So go into install, select the super SU zip file which will be linked in the description box below and just swipe to install the super SU file. Once the super SU file is installed, we need to flash the lazy flasher zip file. So go back, select the lazy flasher zip file and just swipe to install this file. I got many comments asking me what is the use of lazy flasher zip file. So if you do not flash this zip file, you can try it personally too, it is not going to harm your device. So when you do not flash the lazy flasher zip file, your device will not boot into the Android system. It will be stuck on the MI logo because system checks whether the system is modified or not. And as it recognizes that it is modified because we flashed super SU, then it will not allow your device to boot into that. Whereas if you flash the lazy flasher zip file, it will disable the DM variety check which is done by system and it will allow us to boot into the system with root access. So there you have, that's the explanation of lazy flasher zip file. And as you saw, I rebooted into the system by clicking on reboot system button over there. Let's go into root checker application and see whether the device is rooted or not. Even though I know that it is rooted, like just click on verify root over here and it is asking for super SU permission, which means that the device is successfully rooted. You do not have to do anything else. So congratulations. If you have the Redmi Note 4, you have safely rooted your Redmi Note 4 now. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. This is how you can root your Redmi Note 4. And if you still have many more questions like how can I update my Redmi Note 4 even after rooting the device, then I have already made that video with Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. And all the videos that I've made with the Redmi Note 3 are completely applicable to the Redmi Note 4. So you can totally use them. Just make sure that the TWRP recovery file is specifically made for Note 4, which is linked in the description box below. And if you are following the fastboot method to flash the stock ROM or to remove the root access completely, then use the Note 4's fastboot package. 
otherwise you are completely good to go if you have any more doubts then check out the description box below and check out the playlist that i have already made which will help you a lot and it has answer to almost every question that you can get so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and let's see if we can reach 1000 likes on this video so don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these regarding redmi note 4 and root and everything like that are going to come real soon on the channel and whenever first rom for redmi note 4 releases this channel will be the first one to showcase that so just hit that subscribe button you will not regret it ever in your life uh yeah i guess so yeah yeah anyways thank you for watching bye